Day two, week two, we'll kick off with a Paddy Power graded run. It's a grade three. Two and a half mile hurdle for five year olds and upwards. And at the top, we've got Raging Thunder for Joshua Sutherland. Inzo Zancana for Darren Thompson. Both of those were winners last week. Cat Iron for Leon von Rensburg was second last week. Commit Sand, Jay Harrison. Four of the judge for Joshua Sutherland again. Glamist for Alex Cherry. Jay Hun Books Jolly for Padre Hogan. And Rafa Remo for David Robertson. They were both winners last week as well. Max for Alex Cherry. Prototype Daniel French. Rug Supreme David Hooney. Seven Towers Martin. Did that one last week as well. Bella Medici Martin Cairns. Big Penny Crave Beckwith. And Lifestyle Biscuit for Derek Hinton. They're off and racing in what has got to be the best looking race of the season so far. With goodness knows how many. Winners last week in it on Lost Count. Well, it's Mela Medici who's gone off into the early lead from Prototype in second. Marfal Remo is in third. Then Max and Fall of the Judge as they make their way past the stand. This part of the track, of course, which I always say so, so, seems so far away from the stand, doesn't it? But everybody seems happy enough about it. Bella Medici is the early leader from Prototype in second and Marfal Remo in third. Then Raging Thunder is. Back in fourth on the outside of Lifestyle Biscuits, then Giant Books Jolly is after that one. With Comet Sand on the inside, or Commit Sand, I suppose it is. Then Fall of the Judge and Max, who's been around a season or two. With Enzo Zankar after that one, then Big Penny, then Seven Towers, Rugal Supreme, Cat Iron, and finally Glamist at the back as they take the first hurdle eventually, the first of the ten they've got to take. And Bella Medici is the leader for Marfel Rio in second. Prototype is a length or two back in third. Then Raging Thunder is fourth as they get over the next, which they all stream over nicely. Glamis continuing to be the back marker. Right, Marfel Rio is the leader from Bella Medici in second. Gap of two lengths then back to Prototype in third. Raging Thunder is fourth and on the outside Jam Box Jolly on the inside Lifestyle Biscuit. Gap of two lengths then to Commit Sand and Big Penny as they take the third. A bit of a mistake there by Fall of the Judge seeing that one lose its place a little bit. Glamis is the one who's just finding the pace a bit too hot and dropping out the back but Bella Medici and Maffel Remo are disputing the lead. And they're a good Three lengths clear of Prototype racing in third. And Raging Thunder, Lifestyle Biscuits and Jam Books Jolly as they get to the fourth. And Commit Sand is getting a little bit closer. Trying to make a forward move. He's ruled supreme as well. They're quite well strung out. Cat Iron is still nearer the back on the front as they take the fifth. And a mistake there by Rule Supreme for David Hooley has seen that one shuffle to the back. Seven Towers also struggling at this point, but it's Marful Remo who's got the lead as they come up past the big screen, past the totalisator board and past the winning post, and they'll swing out right-handed for a complete circuit of the track in this Paddy Power graded run that kicks off day two of week two of season 15 of the SO League, SO7 right there, SO8 will be coming in. 2024 at some point probably be another season at least of so7 though to look forward to before that bella medici in the lead marfal remo on the outside is in second a gap of three lengths then to prototype in third then raging thunder on the outside of lifestyle biscuit jam box jolly is next commit sand has joined that little leading group gap of two lengths then to Big Penny and Rule Supreme. Seven Towers has made a bit of a forward move. Enzo Zaccaro is next. Then Fall of the Judge, Cat Iron and Max and Glamist is somewhere drift of the remainder. Probably about five or six lengths. They've only got about five and a half furlongs to go and they've still got four flights to get over. And Bella Medici is the leader by two lengths coming to do flight number seven. Gets over in the lead. Slow jump by Marfil Remo. I've seen that one lose second to Giant Box Jolly. Raging Thunder is coming through. Seven Towers is running on. Rule Supreme is also going extremely well and coming right around the outside. Four of the judges getting into it as well. Wide open race this one. As you'd expect from the form from last week. Four furlongs to go. Three flights to take. Bella Medici continues to lead over the third last. From Jam Books Jolly, Fall of the Judge, Raging Thunder, then Seven Towers, then comes Muffle Rima, Big Penny, Commit Sun is still trying to get into it. 
but it's Bella Medici who's been in the lead pretty much all the way and it's still three lengths clear of Jay and Bucks Johnny Rule Supreme then the Sutherland Pair saw that Seven Towers is coming through as well so too is Big Penny on the outside there over the second last then now and Jay and Bucks Johnny's hit the front Rule Supreme is in second then comes Waging Thunder and four of the Judge Commit Sand Seven Towers trying to get up the inside Big Penny around the outside over the final flight they go and it's Commit Sand who's jumped into the lead here comes Big Penny on the outside Commit Sand from Big Penny Raging Thunder on the rail Half a furlong to go. Commit Sand is in the lead, but Big Penny is starting to close. Commit Sand needs a line to come. Big Penny's living on the outside, and Big Penny might have just got up to take it. Big Penny commits Sand. Then Raging Thunder, Muffle, Remo, Jam, Books, Jolly Rule, Supreme. Seven towers after that one. And all the way back to Glamis. And I think Craig Beckwith's horse has just got up to steal that one on the line. Indeed, it has Big Penny for. Craig Beck with the winner commits and for this mysterious Jay Harrison in second. Third was Raging Thunder for Joshua Sutherland. Fourth, Maffel Remo for David Robertson. And fifth for Rule Supreme for David Hooley. A great performance there to get up on the line for Craig Beckwith. Also, you may wonder why I say this mysterious Jay Harrison. Well, we believe he's a first season trainer, but he took both Group 3 Guinness trials yesterday, and he very nearly took that Grade 3 on the jumps there, and there was a Jay Harrison around a long time ago. Is it the same person?